We hope that you'll step forward with us and see this as a part of a counteroffensive that the struggle is not just for the Uhuru movement, just for the African People's Socialist Party, just well, not what they did at my home and the home of Penny Hess and Jesse Neville and, uh, and Kitty Riley and, and my wife and uh, Akili and Nai. That's not the only thing that we're fighting for. We are fighting for all of the colonized people and the rights of everybody, but particularly the colonial subjects who've caught hell, African people who've caught hell all this time and, and now catching hell uh, with, the, with this greater uh, slander of the community that we're so stupid uh, that somebody who they consider white have to tell us that we're oppressed and that they would pay us. They would pay us to get free. And the Russians don't owe us. I don't know any Africans with Russians last name. Uh, it is Africans in this country got white people's last name from, from Europe, from the col colonial powers and what have you. And we were gonna be asking for money from somebody that's gonna be from the white people who owe us reparations and that ain't the Russians. And so I just want to say that uh, this is an incredibly important struggle, important movement, and it gives us an opportunity again to lock arms with all of the colonized people and righteous uh, people inside this country and pursue the aims uh, that they thought they destroyed uh, with the murders of Malcolm and Martin Luther King, the assassination of people in the Black Panther Party, the mass arrest uh, of uh, people who were just trying to resist and trying to be free. Uh, we can uh, go ahead and build this movement and, and lock arms, uh, everybody, and, and overturn this, this parasitic relationship that the vast majority of the people have uh, with this country uh, and with this government. So we're just saying that everything they've claimed we've done, they're lying. They're false. Uh, we haven't broken a single law, except the truth of the matter is that we know that, in fact, uh, for colonized people uh, to fight for freedom or to struggle for freedom is illegal. For enslaved people to try to get an, uh, in slavery, it's illegal because the slave masters make the law, the colonizers make the law, uh, and also whether they uh, mention freedom uh, by law, uh, uh, de jure, uh, de facto, uh, the reality is that they keep us living under slavery. That's why, uh, that's why we engage in this struggle right now. And that's why it's necessary for them to claim uh, that they're not fighting against the freedom of black people, but they're fighting against Russians. Uh, and they confuse St. Petersburg, Florida, I guess, with St. Petersburg, Russia, but there's no GPS system in the world, I think, that should offer that kind of confusion. We haven't seen that kind of confusion since Columbus got lost. So uh, uh, what I wanna say, uh, comrades, is that we ask you to, to join in this struggle. Let's build a massive movement. Let's uh, say hands off Uhuru, hands off Africa, hands off the colonial peoples of the world. Let's go ahead and bring the kind of democracy forward that uh, this system cannot tolerate. And that's the problem that it has. It can't tolerate democracy. And African people have been on the forefront of democracy in this country. And what has been defined up to this date as democracy has been something that's been waged by African people. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Comrade Mwezi Uhuru. Uhuru.